Alrighty, so I hate to break the bad news to you, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I really, I kind of, I was, I completely intended on making the Liz Holy Relic this week, but I have really been wanting to use Assault Mode Melee for a little while now, and uh, honestly, after seeing the performance on the Liz Relic. I don't really think it's worth it. So, if you don't know what melee does, uh, increases the hero's basic stats by 30% for two turns at the start of the battle. If the hero does not take damage during the enemy's turn, applies the same effect at the start of the ally's turn. Increases demon ally's basic stats by 5% for every buff applied to the hero. So, yeah, he uh, he's an Amplify character. I think Estorosa is going to screw us a little bit here, if I had to be honest, because he's going to take away some of our buffs. But at the end of the day, it's not really that big of a deal. I think the Darkness stacks more than make up for uh, some of that, you know, damage reduction. We're not the greatest CC. I do have uh, Melee 6-6, which is really nice. I do really like Assault Mode. I think he's probably my favorite version of Melee, if I have to be honest. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to this. After fighting, uh, I think it was in one of the tier showcases that we did earlier this week, uh, or I guess technically it was last week, um, I, uh, I fought a, an Assault Mode, and I was like, man, actually really fun i kind of want to like i kind of want to fight him again or like i kind of want to use him so uh this is kind of my opportunity i could have went for the molascular relic i know a lot of people are using molascular right now i think that's really lame personally like i mean it's cool that people are getting some use out of the relic and everything but i don't know i just don't really care for molascular too much and the relic doesn't really seem that good to me just because i, I think there's like a clear-cut counter to it kind of so uh, not my personal favorite but I guess it is what it is. Um, problem here being um, Lost Vein Meliodas. I technically could go for like some Ult Rush, which I guess I might as well because I really don't want to attack into that. I really don't want to use AoEs. Um, don't really like to Ult Rush, but this will put some pressure on Estorosa while I can maybe try to build up some stacks on Meli. And, yeah, we'll see how that kind of goes. Um, disabling. So, I assume, yeah, he's probably not going to commit to the kill on him. A little disappointed in that, if i got to be honest there. Um, Melly is getting closer and closer to his ultimate, which is not what I would call good. Um, let's go for... I really don't want to rank him up too much here. Let's go for... I'm going to go ahead and waste this, maybe, and try to kill Estorosa. I'm not 100% sure how well this is going to do. We are going to rank up some of his cards. It's really unfortunate, but kind of... I can't, can't really avoid it too much. Really good damage, considering we're disabled. 120k on the Amplify there. Not too bad. We already have a pretty good amount of stacks going for us. He's... With two gold cards, two silver cards, he more than likely has enough damage to make uh, Estorosa go bye-bye. So we'll see how that works out for us. We have another AoE, so we could potentially go for... Well, we can't necessarily go for Estorosa stacks if he's dead. So. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, he's not actually doing as much as I was expecting him to. Honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and waste the ultimate here. I think what I'm going to do is this. I, I feel pretty confident that I can kill Melly off. Because, I mean, we're doing pretty good damage to him with, like, just some regular moves. So this might do pretty good damage. Okay, well, not much of a... <laughs> <laughs> Not much of an assault mode melee showcase. It is kind of cool that I have all three of the like demonic beast outfits uh, like on the field at the same time. It's kind of neat. So uh, either way, let's go into the next one. Alrighty. Okay. So this is like the meta team. So I'm actually a little bit scared of this one. Um. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go for the triple play here. It is gonna rank up Melly's cards, which is. Probably not a great idea, but I'm going to put three stacks on Deanne. She's going to be really close to dead. We should be able to get rid of her, no problems. And then I honestly think that we can get rid of Melly. I'm hoping, because he's infected. Okay, not too bad. Decent damage there. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay, he disables himself too. This is weird. That's not. I'm assuming it's probably a bot, if I had to guess. We don't even have to worry about the stance here, so let's go ahead and... He got rid of his attack-related stats buffs, actually, which is kind of nice. Let's go for... I don't want to infect every... Or I don't want to encroach everybody if I don't have to, so we're going to do this to get rid of Melly. And then we can move on to the rest of the team. Actually, well, no, I didn't, I didn't use two AoEs. Well, this is overkill. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Assault Mode Melee Relic making these two do so much more damage with that 15% basic stats, but they're doing more damage than I'm used to, which is a bit odd. Uh, I mean, who am I to complain about doing too, too much damage, really? That's obviously a good thing. So, I'll take it, really. Um, she's encroached, but that means it's going to be going away on the next turn. This should deal basically no damage. Okay, yeah, I mean, not not good damage, really. Um, not 100% sure that this is going to kill. So, just in case it doesn't, we're going to go with... Ooh, do I AoE here, actually? I think, honestly, what I do is kill the Deanne off do some damage, amplify on the bond, because this will kill, no problems. This will do good damage and encroach. Man, I mean, <laughs> we're dealing so much damage that Melly doesn't really have time to shine. It's kind of, un it's kind of unfortunate. Um, didn't really think that that was going to be an issue, but I mean, I guess it's a good issue to have, <laughs> really, so... Uh, yeah, I, uh, I can't really complain about it, can I? I mean, can I? We'll just go for this. That should be able to kill the Zeldrasoff. And then let's hop into the next one. Oh, okay. Angel Team is very interesting, mainly because they buff a lot. Ooh, okay. Going for an ult rush build is not good for me. I almost want to save the Rupture, but we could literally get three stacks out turn one, which would be kind of nice. Um, I think I'm gonna do this play instead, because he'll more than likely buff, um, and then we can use that opportunity to rupture to get rid of the, the shield. Is this gonna kill? Wow, oh my god. Dude, Estarosa kinda going ham today. It's, <laughs> it feels fantastic, I gotta be honest. Level 2, that's great, because that means it'll do even more damage. Um, unfortunately, actually, I'm pretty sure it says excludes rupture skills if i'm not mistaken i feel pretty confident that we can get rid of the mael here because he's gonna feed me a stack or two that's great wow well, only one stack unfortunately um yeah i feel pretty good about it i feel pretty good about it i can do this Okay, nothing too crazy. We did good damage to Margaret, to be honest. Can Esterosa... Yeah, okay. We got it. We got it. After after using the Angel Team the other day, I don't know when that video came out comparatively to this one, but I don't know. It just feels... It feels like the only thing you can do with Angels is Ult Rush. It's really unfortunate. Like, man, that sucks. Alrighty. Pretty much an instant load in on this one, so I'm not sure player-wise. Um, he's going for the Purgatory Melee play, which is okay. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and triple AoE. I, on teams like this, I really don't have... Like, I really don't worry too much about Purgatory Meliodas. And I know that may be... That may be a bad thing. Like, I might be underestimating him a little bit here, but... I genuinely just think that he doesn't do very well unless you have full demon support. Um, I don't know. Maybe just personal preference there. Like, maybe I just haven't seen a good team where he actually does well. This is definitely not a player. Um, but I guess it is what it is. So let's go ahead and pop the encroachment on everybody. And then we will get rid of... I guess Bon and Melly. I mean, I guess I could go for the Deanne, but honestly, what's she, what's she protecting at this point, really? So, only 113. Not too crazy, but I mean, hey, 100 and, 
100 100k is not too bad on level one as he does 300k obviously the encroachment's helping tremendously there and he has a ton of darkness stacks on but uh yeah that's uh kind of funny i guess uh, encroached on the Deanne, so he does stance. I don't have an infect. Could potentially be a problem. Feeds a little bit of a stack to Melly here, so not too bad. Mmm, getting the ultimate gauge is not what I would call good. I genuinely want to see the Melly ultimate here, so I'm going to go... For the, the, the play here. My god. Okay. Uh, okay, 90k. That did not actually pop uh, his his final flame. Ooh, level 3 card in hand. That kind of scares me a little bit. Single target on Estorosa. Okay. Respectable damage while you're alone on the field. No support. Respectable, respectable. Um, we'll use the ult. We'll get some buffs. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to follow through with. So that's a little unfortunate. We'll go ahead and get Estorosa's ultimate, but obviously it's, he's going to be in Final Flame, so it's not really going to matter. Uh, how many stacks does he have, out of curiosity? He has full. He is 6'6", six, six, so I guess he does have a chance, maybe, to, to merge into something big here. Not even 100k on the level 3, but obviously no stacks, so that's kind of funny. Uh, uses the level 2. He does, and it merges. Another single target. I does yeah, he probably kills here. Okay, well. Okay, well. Um can't give Melly the windscreen, unfortunately. We'll give it to Zeldris. Because uh, honestly, after that kill on Deanne, Zeldris kind of deserves it, I'll be honest. Getting some pretty good use out of all three of the demon boys here. Really enjoying that. Look at the little windscreen here. I really like his windscreen with the relic. The relic looks good. Oh, man. And the shot of Escanor going down in the back. That's sick. Okay. Might actually get clean sweep here with uh, going into champ one for the week. We'll see how it goes. All right. Really long load time on this one. He's <laughs> using Traitor Melly. Okay. Very bizarre. Um, I, I don't want to call this like an easy win because there's definitely potential for him to not win uh, or like me to not win <laughs> traitor melee is not what i would call a good pvp unit uh, unfortunate that we did not infect there actually so that kind of stinks but dude he's doing he's doing fantastic today i am really loving the esterosa today fantastic job my man um honestly just, it feels great. It feels really good to use Melly again. Love the man to death. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Fantastic unit. And honestly, at this point, I think people are so confident that they can do, like, big damage and everything that they are just feeding me stacks, which is, which is great. Um, honestly, I'm not doing, like, over-the-top insane damage. I'm tanking quite well though i will say like i'm tanking really well interested to see is he going for the the big play here okay he's not um but fantastic like i'm i'm really <laughs> really enjoying using the man uh what do we go for here uh we can just go ahead and kill the Deanne off i think because why not what would we I don't know that there's really a scenario where I... I mean, why wouldn't I kill her? You know what I mean? So, we encroach. We kill. And then all we gotta do is worry about these two now. He is very single target focused. I mean, obviously, Melly does have an AoE, but the more single targets he uses, the more stacks he builds up on Melly. Um, I am kind of interested in the Rupture skill. I, I want to see how well the Rupture skill will do against Melly because he has blue buffs constantly coming in. Um, we can triple AOE here if we really want to. You already have... Okay, so you're going to double... Uh, do you have double snipe? Are you going to swap to Melly and then snipe again? No. Okay. I'm telling you, man. Like, I mean, that is that is infuriatingly low. That is insanely annoyingly low. Um, I'm 
Mm, I really want to risk it and go for double AoE here. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Because it will be able to infect. They have buffs. Ooh, it's so good. Ooh, it's so good. Oh, it feels so good to use Melee again. Oh, it's so good. Ah, oh, here's the windscreen. What a good boy. <laughs> He's so sick. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit of a throwback. Maybe a little bit unexpected, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. Obviously, like... I mean, sure, people want to see the new Liz Relic and everything, um, and I do feel bad that I didn't make it because it is brand new, but honestly, Frere's Relic blows it out of the water. I already have it. I don't use Liz a whole lot in any scenarios and everything like that. I guess, now that I think about it, me, you know, talking smack about the, uh, the Goddess team in the last video and then not having her Relic may be a little bit uh, redundant, but <laughs> either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Melly Showcase. Uh, it's been a while. Really cool to finally have his Relic. Thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, like the, the video, do whatever you want to do, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. If you have any interesting ideas maybe for me to use Melly, I'd be down, because honestly, he's a lot of fun. So, have a good day. See ya.